Hello, my name is John Tarr and I am from Best Website Solutions and today on this training I'm going to teach you how to make a blog post on Divi and using the Divi um, library. So the very first thing that we've got to do when I when I bring and start a blog you're going to have to bring images in right off the bat. So I have already resized um, four images Plus, I've made a fifth one that is a featured image. Um, the resized ones are 7 by 4 at 72 dpi. And then the featured image is a 9 by 5 at 96 dpi. So they're actually different. The featured image is a little bigger be, uh, dpi because it is actually a bigger image. So the very first thing I'm going to do... I'm going to slide the thing out of there and I'm going to go to the media and I'm going to go to library and that's going to bring it up and then it's going to bring us into our media library right here. And as you can see, there's lots of images in there and I'm going to, all the ones that have the tale of two dogs part four is what our blog post is about. So I'm going to highlight three of these babies. And I'm just going to take them and drag them in there just like that. And you can see them loading up right there. Then there's two more that I need. And I'm going to grab these guys right here. If you want to uh, grab a bunch of images, you take your cursor, your mouse, and, and drag it across. And it will highlight those. And then I want to bring this one in, these two in here too. So now you're going to see... I have one, two, three, four, five. One of these is a, a picture for the blog itself, and the other one's a featured image, and that's probably going to be that one right there. Okay, so the next thing I do once I get in there is I take the title, highlight it, copy it, and what I do on each one of these guys, um, and situate that and I'm going to highlight the first picture and you can see there's something in the caption but we need to knock that out of there and get rid of it for the caption and we want to put the title in the alt text in the description and then many times I'll put it in the title too just to have it there now it's in all of those and you can see that we have uh, uh, photographs for our our blog and they are right here. Um, so we're going to take this and put it right here in the dog. So the these are the media categories. So it's a dog under blog. And when we go to bring in the featured image, that's where that's going to go. Then you click into the gray area and it will then accept it, the change to it. We're going to go in here. We want to take the caption out of there because if it follows it, it's going to show up on the image when you go to post it in. Now watch right here to the right top right. You're going to see when I put something in there and click, see that little thing spindles around? That means that it's accepting it. I wish they would have put a button there and to tell it to take it. So I'm going to come here under dog and then I'm going to click into the gray area. We're moving right along here. Again, get rid of the caption. If there's a caption that followed it, put that one there. Put that one in there, and you can see that it saved it. And then I put it right into Doug. Uh, there's one more here. We want to make sure that this guy comes out of here. Dump it here. Put it here. Here. And here. That's your alt tag, alternative text, and uh, then you put it into the dog, and you click into the gray area, and it accepted it. Now, here's our featured image. No, actually, I did this wrong. This was our featured image. See right here, Taylor Two Dogs. I actually titled each one of these, and I gave them a different number. So this one here is Taylor Two Dogs Part Four. I made that number one. This one was Taylor Two Dogs. Part four, number one. This one says tail two dogs, part two, part four, but number two. 
and this one says Tale of Two Dogs, Part 4, Number 3. And this, actually I brought this in kind of backwards, but it's a good thing I did because I had one thing under caption. Want to knock that out. And we want to take it off a dog here and put it under Featured Image. Okay, and then save it. And then our last one is just a regular one, and we want to get rid of this again. Put that here. Uh, here and we want to put it under the title too and then we want to go to the dog and then hit the gray area okay so now all five of our images are in now from here and that's a big big start uh, you can actually bring the images in one at a time as you're making your post but I prefer to do it right off the bat and get them all in there. So you're going to have to do a little bit of work to get them to the right sizes. Remember the, sh the shots that are actually going in the blog are a 7x4 at 72 dpi. That's in horizontal. If it's a vertical shot, it's actually going to be a 4x7 at 72 dpi. Because you want the long way, 7 inches. Okay? So now we're going to go into a post and we're going to start a new one. You can go into all posts and actually I'm going to click and go that route, but you may want to get past that and go directly into it. But you can see that we've got part one, part two, part three. But if you don't have any of that, you can then just, just take off with it and go in and start add new. And that's where we want to go. So. The very first thing that I want to do is go right in here into the titled area. You can see that blinking. And I'm going to just paste the title in here. Tale of Two Dogs, Part 4. Then immediately I want to hit Divi Builder. Then I go down here in the focus keyword while the title is still in the mouse. I'm going to click here. Hit that. Okay. It's in there now. Um... Then I'm going to go to edit snippet right here. This has already got this here. You could leave it, but I, I'm always uncomfortable with that. So I'm actually going to start it um, right here. Uh, click here and start it over here. And then I'm going to use a pipe to separate there. And then I'm going to actually unleash dog. Sometimes people put their name on there. Uh, you could have put the, the the person that owns the blog. In this case, it was Victoria Rousen, who was the owner. You could put that here. But in this case, I'm just going to leave it underneath uh, what the name of the website is. So I'm going to training. Oh, dog training. And AZ is a big deal. So we're going to have it like that. Okay. Um, so, there we have it. So, the, always the title has got to be the first part here. That's where your slug is. Uh, the first part here. And if you notice, way up in here, it says Tale Two Dogs Part 4 is part of the main page. And that's what, it comes in off the slug. So, and then the meta description, I'm just going to make it Tale of Two Dogs. Just for now. We're going to fill in more of this later. Uh, and... The very next thing we want to do is go over to the right hand under categories and this is a dog training. So I click that one right off the bat. You can click two things, but I have found an interesting thing that if you click two of them, the featured image does not follow um, if there's two of them clicked. I don't know why. But I just do now, and then later on after it publishes, I go in and, and hit a second one. Then I take it, while it's still in there, I take it and put it under tags, and then I hit add. So you can see that it added that. Now, we want to do our featured image. So we're going to go in here. It's going to bring into our library, and I know the featured image is this guy right here. And all I got to do then is hit set featured image and voila there she is cool no okay so far so good then right away 
Now, this is the other big deal, too. If I hit publish here, because it's already connected to the social media, this will publish immediately and it will look crappy. And I have made many mistakes and published by accident. So what I do right off the bat, I'm going to go to publish immediately. And where it says edit, I'm going to go into edit. And I'm actually going to set this. This is for the dates and times and everything. I'm going to set this for the 28th. Okay. And then I'm going to do it for 8 o'clock in the morning. 08. And I make it 00. Then I'm going to hit OK. Press the button OK. And you will see instantly this thing change to schedule. So then you want to hit schedule. If you're building a blog real far out into the future or something like that, you could, or if you're playing with something you're not quite sure, I've made them and, and set them scheduled for like three months out, knowing full well that it's not going to go that far. Uh, but I'm not quite ready to publish that one, and I still got more things I want to add to it, but I wanted to get part of it done. Um, so now, if you see, it says update. So now you can't publish it by accident. So that's a big deal. In my mind, I hit that many times and had to go back and try to correct it all. Now, we've got a lot done so far. It's saved. we got all this stuff started. Now, um, the great thing about Divi is that there's a, a template in the library. So the very first thing we want to do is go to Load from Library. And then it's going to bring its own Divi library of stuff, but that's not where our template is hanging out. And it's going to hit, and, and we're, we're going to build your own uh, setup, but we're going to go with the very top one here. It says ULDT, and this is for Unleashed Dog Training. Uh, so, and I'm going to hit Load. And you're going to see, then it's going to bring up this old, blog setup. All the old stuff is going to be in here, but I am going to hit update right off the bat because this is here and then you can go change individual pieces of it. Okay, so that's done. Now I'm going to hit preview so we can take a look. Uh, see what we got and it's bringing it up and here it is. Voila, the featured image came up. The title it says uh, by the author and the date that it's going to be coming up in Taylor Two Dogs. Now, you can see that the old stuff is here, but that's not what we're looking for. We want to see. But this featured image will then follow this uh, everywhere. And that's why I kind of made this a little bit bigger, 96 DPI instead of 72. And then our title is here. But we're going to have to go in. I'm going to close that out. Go back in here now. And I'm going to, this is our text title right here. So I can go right here and we see our title. Um, and, inst and what's easy here is that all I got to do is make it a four. And then make sure you m label it down here. This is, so this is information for you as you're working on a thing. So you can see what it said here. Tale of Two Dogs Part Four now. Okay, now, um, our first paragraph is coming in off of here. Uh, we don't need this part because she already has it up here. But I'm going to take the first paragraph right here. I'm going to bring this over. And I'm going to go into the first paragraph. And all this is here. Um, and I'm actually just going to wipe out everything that was in here. Okay, and make sure your cursor, I erased a lot, but it was still down in here. And if you don't have that gap out of there, it's going to be a gap on your blog. So the very first thing I do then is hit paste. And it's going to come up like this. Um, this is just how it pastes over. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go find family. I'm going to go Helvetica. I'm going to go 16 point, and the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make it black, okay? Now I look at that, and there's too much for people to read off a screen, so I break up the, the words. I'm going to hit there and there. So now you can see everything's kind of brought out and made 
right here with a nice gap on there. Uh, one of the things I like to do at the beginning of an article is I like to do an end cap. It just kind of sets everything out on its own. So I highlight the first letter and I go here and I make it a different font altogether. What's in there right now is what they call a sans serif, but I'm going to put a serif um, right here for contrast and it made it. Uh, now I'm going to go into pixel size and I usually go about 48 so you can see it made it big. I'm going to go bold and italicize and then I change the color and make it kind of a red like that. So that is what they call end caps and that's the beginning of your article. If you saw this on a regular page, um, and now here's the other thing too, you can do an update, but remember the update takes a while, um, and it goes to who's ever hosting, and it goes there, and then it saves it, and then comes back, but you can speed up the process by just hitting preview, and that's what I'm going to do here, just hit preview, but remember, if you move off of this page, then it's not going to save what you just did. See? Now here we are. Tale of Two Dogs Part 4. Um, another thing is um, sometimes people like to make the, the title black and then make that red. But to each his own, it starts out and it tells you this is the beginning. This is an old photograph from the past, but we left it in there as part of the template because we're going to bring our own photograph in now. So I'm going to go down here to Image, and this will be our first image. And... You go up here to upload an image, click this guy, and then it's going to take you back to uh, the front. So I don't like to, the, the same image that we use for the featured image, I use it again, but at the very end of the whole article. So I'm going to take this shot right here because it's a horizontal. You can tell that's a horizontal here, and if I click this one, it's not doing it yet. It's got that one, and then it's got this guy in here as a vertical. So we may break it up and make it a horizontal, vertical, horizontal, but let's see. Let's take this one in here first, tell it save it. The next thing you got to do is you have to do your image alternative text right here. This is going to be easy because it's number four. And normally I just cut and paste the title in right here, okay? And I don't have to do because it's already the first image, so I don't even have to touch that. So now I'm going to bring it in. We have a second image. Looks like we had something coming in right away. There's a lot of other stuff in here that we might dump and then bring her article back into it. So let's see what we've got. Now I'm going to hit update and I'm going to go from here and over to preview. Um, and it did it. Now we're going to go and preview. And it's always interesting doing this part of it here. See, now this is our first photograph. Okay. Um, so that's cool. We're here so far. Now I think because her article's actually bigger than the other article. So I might bring in this paragraph next. Okay. But I'll break it up. So I'm going to hit copy. I'm going to pull this guy out of the way. We're going to come out of here. It's going to come right in here. So um, break it up for contrast. Uh, and here's our first image. Our second paragraph is coming in right here. So we're going to bring that here. First thing that you did is... Um, Delete all that, paste all that, make sure there's no gap here, nothing was there, nothing behind it. So now I'm going to highlight all this in Helvetica. I try to be consistent using the same fonts and font structure and go to black because it comes out gray. Then break this up a little bit. Okay. Um, because when you're looking at writing on a little screen, this really does help your viewer. Um, and here we go. And that's all you got to do. That's our second one. Okay. So right now we got our first image, our second paragraph. 
Now I'm going to go to our third image. And this goes fast. And our second image. And that's going to be the dog running. And we'll have like two German Shepherds in a row. It made it there. And got to make sure that we put our alternative text. It's number four. And I'm going to hit save and exit. Because if you look up here in the SEO, if I didn't have it on at least the first one, it would give us a bad light. So right now, our SEO is good, but it's still picking up uh, a lot of the text from the old article. So we don't really want to look at that uh, all that much right at the moment. So now we've got two things set up. Now I'm going to not save it, but I'm just going to go hit the preview. And you can see our... Uh, progress as we're moving along here. Uh, Taylor, two dogs. Uh, text is great. Our next paragraph. Our next photograph. So, so far it's looking really good. Now, uh, we're going to bring in, this was all broken up, so your chances and all this stuff right here. Now we're going to come in immediately. I'm going to come out of there and put in our third paragraph. Uh, and that's right here. See, that's what's nice about this template. Everything is spelled out. Everything is right. You just got to go and change a few things. So our next one is this guy here. So I'm actually going to take, she's got, and I'm bringing this whole section in here. And here, then I'm going to come here to our third paragraph. And then I'm going to, Delete all this, post this, and it looks like it's got enough of a gap between everybody. I'm just going to leave it like that. Go to Helvetica, again, 16, make it black, and just leave her like that, okay? That's our third paragraph, our third image, and it's a vertical like this one is. So we're going to go here to this doggy. We're going to add him. Again, make sure your alternative text is just your your header or your uh, title. And I'm just going to go back to four. Save that. Not, not bad, huh? So now we've got so far. Now this time, because I've got a couple of updates, I'm going to actually do the real update. Okay. Uh, now as we bring this across here... Um, and then I'm going to hit preview and then look at what I've got real quick. And now you can see as I scroll down that we've got everything's lining up really nice. Um, and then you can see the last picture that we put, put in here. Um, and we know that this, this paragraph is not, not what we want here. And this last one had a different picture at the end of it. And then it had uh, Victoria with her thing. But that's at the bottom. And that why, that's what's so nice about having the template. I don't have to rebuild any of this part of it either. So we're here. We're back here down into the fourth paragraph. We brought in, um, that was our third paragraph. Let's see what our third image is here. It uh, got lost there a little bit, so we're set here. So that was our third. Now we're going into our fourth paragraph. This is our fourth and final paragraph. So, and that was this bottom section. And I'm going to highlight this again. Copy it. So why it's so important to get um, everything uh, in here. On a word document but that's spelled correctly correct grammar everything is correct now I'm saving this last part and I'll tell you why I'm actually gonna dump it to and I'll add it in a minute but I'm gonna hit again I'm adding everything that she wrote here and then I'm going to go back here to uh, Helvetica to 16 point and make it black okay and then I'm gonna save it that's our fourth paragraph, fourth and final image, and then I go back to the last shot that's actually in her featured image. I'm putting that in down here, 
uh, so that and make sure your alt alternative text is your title again and that's number four okay so we've got it now the blog is almost done but there's a few things we got to do yet and I'm gonna hit update here and we're gonna take a look at the whole thing um, because SEO is so important when the um, spiders grow across the website they're gonna want to make sure that your content is what you say it is and if you look right here it says the key word density is which uh, oh four percent is too low and is only the keyword is only found one time the keyword is our title right here okay so I'm actually gonna copy this and many times if I need to have one more keyword I'm going to put it at the very bottom okay so I'm gonna go back in here uh, oh that was the image sorry good for me to make a mistake so you can see that that's what happens and it says and then I always put it at the very bottom. We're actually going to put something else in here, but I put it in right here. Just as another spot for the title to be. And, that, and then the, the um, spiders see it and they're, they're satisfied. They're happy. They know that your article was what you said it was. There's a lot of bad people out there doing all kinds of strange stuff. So I'm going to hit this one. And then remember... Uh, the, the great thing about the template is your logo is already here, your media following is here, and the image if you wanted to put that there. So all of that's there. Now she had written a previous article. So I'm going to hit update here so we don't lose any of this. And I'm actually going to do something here. Uh, well, it brings it across. And I'm going to go and find out what the address for the previous article is. I'm going to hit preview right here. Okay. And here it is. Now let's make sure everything is correct here that we're looking at that we want. Tail two dogs. Everything's lined up. The photographs are great. They're coming in, sliding in here. This looks great. Vertical. Then the rest of it. And her last picture. Now I could have taken this. Uh, tailored two dogs and this may make more sense with it on the back end down here so it's away from this on her other blog post that had to do with this at the end it said if you would like to read the red uh, the rest of this article go to here but because those blogs had not been published yet we're gonna have to do two things okay uh, number one is uh, tailored two dogs we're gonna move but we're also gonna go into the blog and I need this address to put it at the top up here so uh, I'm actually going to go back here and this will give me my address which is right up here. Okay, so I'm going to copy this. Okay, for the uh, link. And I'm actually going to pull this right off of here. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to put this right up here into the first paragraph. Okay, and this is where the good separation here with this big Y and I'm going to give it two spaces and I'm going to go uh, if you would like to read um, part three of this article oh let's spell that Divi and WordPress has a good spell check on here. Go. Go. Here. Okay. And I do that. And then I go. Um, a tale of two dogs. Part three. Okay, very first thing I do here then is I highlight it, go through this whole process here of, I wish they had a shortcut that would just, there is a shortcut if you know anything about InDesign when you're building magazines and uh, newsletters and things like that. They have a paragraph style, which allows you to do that so I don't have to go back and do all this stuff, but WordPress has not advanced that far. Now, 
We want to make sure that this is hyperlinked, this first part. So I'm going to go right here, highlight it. I'm going to go right up here to this insert link, click it. Then I'm going to paste in the domain or the web place where that was located. So I'm going to add it right there. And one thing I did forget, do you want this, when they click this, do you want this to open up in a new page or to stay here? Um, it's up to you. Uh, if it's something that's going from uh, a page to page within your WordPress or within your website itself, you may want it just to not open into a new page. But if it's going off site to some another location, you may want to open it up into a second page in the browser, just in case they don't know how to get back. Anyway, so this is going from there uh, back and forth. So I'm going to save it. I don't think this shows up enough, the color that it is. So I actually go in here to the color and make it a little bit darker blue. Kind of like that, so it really stands out. So, let's hit save and exit. And now I'm gonna hit update. Hope this is not getting too long. You'll be able to stop and start this and go back to make sure you got everything correct. Um, now I'm gonna hit preview. And we can see what we've got, how we're doing. And here it is. If you'd like to read, and that way there's a separation between these guys, and you can tell then this is the start of the article because the end cap is telling you so. Okay, so let's test, make sure that the hyperlink is working. So I'll press that, and it's immediately switched it over. Do you see that? But it didn't open it in a new page. Uh, but we can have it do that. So here's the article, it's pretty much done, but remember we were gonna take this part here uh, and put that, so I'm gonna click out of here. We'll go all the way down to the very end. We're closing in on it, and I'm gonna go here. Oh, that was a divider. Um, paragraph, I'm actually going and taking this, highlighting it, copying it, and then I'm gonna I copied it and then I'm going to delete it and delete it. Make sure you, this thing is all the way back up to here. Or you're going to have this big, big gap in your thing. See, so it's back up to here. Uh, if you find big gaps in your article that wasn't there, then it's probably because you've got your space bar in a wrong spot. So always make sure of that. So I'm actually going to bring in another paragraph. Great thing about these uh, modules is that you can make a duplicate module by hitting this this air, um, this double pane window. So I'm going to tell it, make me another one, another paragraph. Everything is identical on the inside also. Then I can take it and drag this baby like this. Okay, but I also need a divider. So I'm going to take this divider and leave it here. This is no longer going to be our fifth paragraph though. And I'll show you how to change that. So I'm going to go in here, see how it saved all of that. But we're actually going to dump it, put that last little part in here. So it's underneath that, that last photograph. So I'm going to do Helvetica, um, 16 point, make it black. Then I'll punch it in right here. Oh, look what I did. See, that says fourth paragraph, fourth paragraph. But we want to change that. So remember, you go all the way down here to the bottom and make it fifth paragraph. Okay. So far, so good. I think this we're closing in on this part of it. We're going to have to do our SEO and our tags real quick. I'm going to do that right here. But we're like very close to finishing. I'm going to hit preview. And then you can see it here. Uh, and then I'm going to slowly go down. This looks good. This is a good looking blog. One thing you might want to do, I made these blog posts at 16. You might want to try 20. 20 sometimes looks better. Sometimes it's easier to read, read on a cell phone or a small de smaller device. Uh, you may want to play around with that and think about. I kind of uh, have vacillated between uh, the 20 and the 16. So it's something to think about. I built them both ways. 
Uh, Victoria's other ones were done at 16. I don't know you can make a decision. Now you can see the tail of two dogs is down here. And there's then a separation between her logo and her other stuff here. And that'll be the end of it. Um, something else that you can do in here, maybe down in here or up in here. Uh, put something in here. If you would like to find more information about my business or my dog training, uh, please contact me by uh, phone or mail, or if you'd like to, or, or maybe direct them to your other menu bars. Uh, sometimes people always don't know that uh, they need to do that. Okay, so now let's do the last part that we got to do. Um, key, focus keyword, we're not going to change. Um, there are certain things that will make this turn green right now. You can see the SEO is good, it's green, the readability is good. Um, and also, because I added that last one where it, could, it was found twice, see right here, remember it was red, and it said 4, uh, 0 0.4, which is great, and, that, and it was found two times, and that's what, because of the last one that we brought in there. Um, but this is also causing a problem here, our meta description. So... To do that, you go in here to edit the snippet, and then I can say, um, uh, Tale of Two Dogs is a blog about dog training, or I can say, uh, is a blog by Vic. Victoria Rousen, or I can add on to it there and say by professional dog trainer Victoria Rousen. Uh, you can still see it's still going orange here, so it's wanting us to add more to it. So, A Tale of Two Dogs, Part 4, is a blog by professional dog trainer Victoria Rousen on training your puppy when you... Whoop, yo, yo! You first bring him into your life. See all this changing grain? It's uh, training is spelled wrong, so I'm just going to go back and what did I do here? Train. Of course. Um, so. It's only going to give you a limited amount of space, so sometimes uh, you got to be careful. But you can get more explanatory uh, in, when you do your snippet. So, it says, A Tale of Two Dogs, Part 4, is a blog by professional dog trainer Victoria Rousen on training your puppy when you first bring him, him into your life. Uh, put a period there, and um, you can say... Um, you could put uh, a city and a date here, or a, a state. Um, you could do that. Um, um, if I did Verdi, Verdi, VA Valley. Uh, yes or no? It's going to be really up to you. You could put Sedona, or you could just leave it blank right here. So that's what I'm going to do. Now the very next thing I do, because this is what I want, I want this whole part right here, and I'm going to scroll down here, the very bottom, below the last module, into excerpt, and I'm going to post it right there. And I'm actually, in this area, I'm going to put parentheses around here. You cannot do that up above, but you can do it here and one other place too. So they can see that that's the article. A Tale of Two Dogs is a blog by professional dog trainer Victoria Rousen on training your puppy when you first bring him into her life. 
you can leave it like that. You can add some more stuff. This is what's going to follow. Uh, not only is the featured image going to follow your image into social media, but this excerpt will here too. But where it's actually following from, and I'm going to copy and paste this up here. Now remember, uh, Victoria has a Twitter account. And it's uh, you're restrained by 140 characters. Uh, Facebook's not, uh, LinkedIn's not, all the rest of them are not. So we're going to have to uh, ignore part of what it's telling us. Uh, you can see that she's hooked up to Facebook and Twitter. And I'm going to put that excerpt right here. And it's what it read, it's telling us that we use too many words or too many. But I would leave it just like this. Facebook will take the whole excerpt. Um, but Twitter will only take up to the 140 characters. Uh, and that's all. But that's okay. But this is enough uh, to do what we need to do. Okay. So now that's done. The SEO is done. Now I'm going to hit update right here because I don't want to lose any of this. We're almost done. We need to get some tags on here. So remember we made our first tag right here. A Tale of Two Dogs Part 4. Uh, and I go back in here to the snippet a little bit and I grab some stuff. Um, and, and what you can do is in the tag area, it remembers other tags that you originally made. Okay, so if you start to type in things, but if you're starting out new and you're just getting your first few blogs up, you're going to have to type this stuff out. There's no way around it. But I'm going to start out with Victoria's name and I'm just going to start VIC and see it came up and pop what we did before. It's a blog post by Victoria Rawson. I'm going to save that one. Okay, see these tags are big because they'll, they'll track these down. I'm going to do another Victoria VIC, see what it's got. Uh, I'm going to do, it says Victoria Rawson Professional Dog Trainer. Bring that one in there too. Okay, these are big. Um, let's say Verde, see if Verde, something out of the Verde Valley comes up. Uh, dog Training Verde Valley. Bring that one in there. Let's try something for Sedona. SED, just leave it like that. So dog, dog Training Sedona. Yeah. Put it in there. Okay, so we're getting some tags here. I usually try to get, I don't know, maybe seven, eight at the most. Um, let's do, um, how about, do we have just dog training? I'm just going to punch in dog. See if we have just uh, dog training. Here we go. Or dog training Arizona. Let's try dog training Arizona. Let's punch that one in there. These tags we've already made from before, but this is covering the gamut. Um, so it's covering from her name, her, her business, to uh, let's see uh, Unleashed. Let's bring in something from Unleashed, okay? And it says Unleashed uh, blog post. Let's bring that in. Let's bring in the other Unleashed also. That's the name of her business. This one right here. And now we're covering the gamut. We've got Victoria's name in here. We've got dog training. We've got Unleashed dog training. The whole bunch of stuff in here. So this is going to follow this everywhere. This is all important. I know this took a little while to do. And, but we've got everything set up. And this stuff brings in a lot of business. If you've got your blog post. I'm going to hit update so I don't forget. If you have your blog post um, hooked up to all your social media and your email, the moment this publishes out, and this is going to publish on Tuesday morning, the moment this baby publishes out, it will migrate down to all the social media and also send out an email. So it's big that you get your email set up. That's something I'm doing right now. One of the, one last thing that you got to do at the very end, um, and I'm going to preview this one more time so we can see it, just to be uh, feel that we feel confident that this is going to come out great. Uh, you can see, and and now the other thing is, part four will not post up in the right side here. 
in any of, and it will go into all three of these places. When it publishes, this is when it does it. Okay, so I'm going to go down, scroll down slowly, look at all this stuff. Everything looks good, looks great, part three. And here it is. So she's got that set. Now, the very last thing that you need to do, because there are a lot of revisions that we're making, if you take a look right in here, it says revisions. There's 10 of them. I've got a thing that will dump the revisions because it, the, the more revisions you got, the slower your website opens. So we don't want it to do that. We just want to be able to keep the last three. So I'm going to optimize, and that dumps it. So all you got to do is hit Optimize DB at the very top. It's a very cool plugin I brought in to do that. And you can see that it dumped all these other things here. It looks like we didn't dump the other revisions from the past. But here they are. That also reminds me there's one more thing that we did not do that I need to go back into and um, actually, um, oh, we, we cannot because this has not been posted yet. So we can't go to back to part three and say this has uh, been posted there. Now you can see here um, the SEO and everything is good. The readability was good. The readability wasn't quite good enough. There's a place that you can go and read about that. The most important part was the SEO. This is scheduled up um, and it's telling us that it's scheduled for February 28th, which is uh, a Tuesday. And that's when and she's going to go up in here. So uh, I hope this helps. Uh, you can start and stop this. And uh, just remember, this is John Tarr. I build websites and I teach people how to use their social media and their blogging. And uh, happy blogging.